The way a string vibrates isn't simple. Every time you pluck a string, it's vibrating in kind of a complicated way. And you can stop it from vibrating at certain points on the string to get a different tone out of it. You can even stop it midway through the note. And that note will carry. This is called a harmonic. Some people call it a natural harmonic to differentiate between an artificial harmonic or a pinch harmonic. We'll get to that later. To play the natural harmonic, what you want to do uh, is place your finger on the string. Don't actually push it down onto the fret. Just place it on the string gently enough that you're stopping the string from vibrating at that point. And pick. You can use a pick. Um, you can do a finger pick. Doing this kind of uh, thumb push downward, very classical style sort of thing works very well. Gives you a very nice round tone to it. And then once you get that harmonic started, release gently. That should still keep going. This will work on any string, uh, and your main harmonics are going to be 12th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, and then 3.2, which basically you want to go down 3 frets and then about 0.2 more of a fret, about there, 2.7, 2.3, and you can keep going from there. mixed results. You're stopping the string from vibrating at a certain point, and it's creating a node, um, and then the string is kind of flopping one direction or the other on either side of that node. A couple things you can do to make those harmonics sound better. Uh, better strings, better pickups, compression, and distortion. Those are going to be the main things. I'm running compression right now, but that's it. Um, if I turn off the compression, that plunk is still nice and loud, but the actual note of the harmonic dies a lot more quickly. Same thing is true for distortion. In addition to your gear, you can also improve the sound of your harmonics, um, usually by using your bridge pickup, um, and by plucking harder, the higher pitch the harmonic is. You're gonna have to compensate for a bit of volume as you go higher pitched. Um, picking closer to the bridge will help. If you're picking, for example, your fifth fret harmonic, and your pick gets close to the other node of that harmonic, where the 24th fret would be, you're not going to get much of a harmonic out of that. But you will closer to the bridge. Um, so picking closer to the bridge will help avoid those other nodes of the harmonics that you're creating. It'll give you a better harmonic. You can use this to play any bugle call. <laughs> hit pause. This is used in the song For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield. The rhythm guitar is playing an E chord and an A chord back and forth. The lead guitar is running harmonics. 12th fret on the high E string, 7th fret on the I string. Doing that as whole notes for the entire verse, and then speeding up to half notes for the chorus. And then back to whole notes for the verse. Another example of a natural harmonic is the song, uh, Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode. He's doing a capo on the second fret so that 12th fret harmonics become 14th fret harmonics. There's the intro to that. Um, harmonics are often used intermittently like that. Uh, Metallica will do that on songs like Nothing Else Matters with a. And I'm pulling out 12th fret harmonics. You can also get a lot of interesting things crossing strings. Um, you can get an E minor chord across the 12th fret harmonic of the high pitched three strings, B minor chord there, another E minor chord there, G minor chord there. Um, you can also pull major chords out of the B, G, and D strings. G major, C major, G major again. Uh, you can also pull a couple of scales out of it. You can get an E minor pentatonic scale out of the 7th and 12th fret harmonics like this. Or a B minor uh, diatonic scale uh, out of the 3rd, 4th, and 5th fret harmonics. Like that. The band Rise Against does this when they do the song Swing Life Away Live. Uh, his intro is based on that B minor harmonic scale.
The scorpions do this in some rocket like a hurricane. He's pulling out a sort of thing as an interlude to the verses. Once you understand what's going on with harmonics, um, it becomes obvious that as long as you get the strings starting to vibrate somehow and stop it from vibrating at a specific point, you can play a lot of games with that. So have fun with it, uh, roll it into your techniques, and thanks. <laughs>